Earth, our home and a precious ecosystem. Earth's atmosphere is important to us. It provides the air we breathe and also has available nutrients we need. The atmosphere is composed mostly of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Nitrogen is a nutrient which combines with oxygen, carbon, and phosphorus and is very important to life. It is used to construct DNA, amino acids, and proteins, which make up living things like you and me. 79% of the whole world's atmosphere is nitrogen, but we can't use it. It occurs naturally in a non-reactive form called dinitrogen, or two nitrogen atoms bound together. Dinitrogen can't be used by most organisms until its atoms are captured, separated, and combined with other atoms through a process called fixation. There are three ways nitrogen can be fixed. Atmospheric, biological, and industrial fixation. In atmospheric fixation, lightning breaks dinitrogen bonds allowing nitrogen to combine with other atmospheric molecules like oxygen to form nitrate. Rain then carries this atmospheric fixed nitrogen to Earth to be used in the nitrogen cycle. 90% of fixed nitrogen is produced on land and in the sea by microorganisms through a process called biological fixation. Living beneath the ocean surface is an aquatic world filled with biological nitrogen-fixing organisms called diazotrophs. They break apart atmospheric dinitrogen and convert it into ammonium so they can grow. The ammonium they create can leak directly into the environment or they can directly enter the food chain where they are eaten by other microscopic organisms. This newly available nitrogen is then moved through a chain of eaters to fish and fish eaters, all who use this combined nitrogen to grow. When an organism dies, its body is broken down by decomposer bacteria. These bacteria convert or remineralize the nitrogen-rich proteins into nitrates and ammonium, both of which are reactive forms that plants can use to grow. Nitrate and ammonium can also enter into oxygen-poor sediment where denitrifying bacteria change the nitrate back into pure nitrogen and nitrous oxide. Both gases then return to the atmosphere, completing the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is a delicate balance of fixation, storage, accumulation, and recycling. Without enough nitrogen fixed, an ecosystem's growth is constrained. With enough nitrogen, growth is not limited by nitrogen nutrients. The same principles that apply in water also apply on land in agriculture. For most of human history, there was a balance between available nitrogen and human population growth. Then, with the Industrial Revolution, more efficient food processing let the population boom, outpacing the ability of agriculture to provide due to limited available nitrogen. There was not enough food for this human population boom. A dire situation. How do we get more crops, more nutrients? How do we accumulate more nitrogen? The solution came in 1909 when Haber and Bosch invented a way to chemically fix nitrogen, an industrial fixation process, combining nitrogen and hydrogen over an iron catalyst to make ammonia. 
This ammonia is then oxidized into nitrate and nitrite and used to fertilize crops. This industrial method was so effective, agricultural production exploded. Now there are more vegetables and meat to feed growing populations. But industrially created fertilization taxes the delicate nitrogen cycle. Excrement and excess fertilizer cascaded off the fields during rainstorms into freshwater and marine ecosystems. This cascade of available reactive nitrogen affects the balance of nutrients, increasing productivity and growth, but also feeding algae blooms and bacteria. These blooms choke the environment by using up all free oxygen and suffocating animals. Plants and animals die, covering the sea floor and water column with decaying bodies. Even worse, with so much organic buildup, what little oxygen is left can't reach the lower layers of sediment. Denitrifying bacteria, prospering in this anoxic environment, produce far more nitrogen and nitrous oxide than before. The nitrous oxide rises high up into the stratosphere, acting as a potent greenhouse gas, trapping heat and causing the earth to warm rapidly. Over a 100 year period, it's almost 300 times more potent than the same amount of carbon dioxide. So, how do we control this cascade of available nitrogen and can we reverse it? We use eco-cycling. Eco-cycling is a way to capture and recycle the reactive nitrogen using nature's processes. One eco-cycle idea is to create special algae mat filters to absorb the cascading available nitrogen runoff. When the mats are saturated with algae, the algae can be used as fertilizer, just as effective and more environmentally sound than industrial fertilizer treatment. Now we can feed the nation and still have enough available nitrogen to help feed the world. This is one solution. We need lots of inventions. How will you catch the nitrogen cascade? <laughs>